Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are documenting these two photos of myself and my husband. I have a bunch of journaling cards and a scrap piece of scrapbook paper that I got out of a like paper pack that somebody gifted to me. So unfortunately I won't be able to link that. Today I am working in my memory album and I'm going to be working in an actual pocket page protector. Um, so it will be fun. <laughs> I do fuss around a little bit with a lot of this stuff because as I've said in previous videos, I'm not super used to working with page protectors. So I decided to just go ahead and jump right in today to get myself a little bit more used to it. So I'm trimming out my photos and I'm leaving a small border around each one. And I'm actually going to be using uh, journaling cards and this piece of scrap paper to make like little three by four cards for these photos to go on. Initially, I'm going to cut out two three by four cards from this like envelope floral paper, but I'm only gonna end up using one of those. So I'm cutting these down to three by four inches um, and then I will go ahead and get everything laid down on my page protector and then decide that I only want to use one. I do have these photos printed on glossy photo paper so there will be a slight glare from my ring light that's above me um, on the photos and also on my page protector so I do apologize for that. I don't have a big enough space to be able to have lights all over so I'm working with what I've got here. <laughs> Um, so this is where I decide that I wanted to use one of the February Stories by the Month cards from Allie Edwards. And I am going to place our photo underneath the little title that says a February moment. So instead of using that card for journaling, I'm kind of using it as a backdrop for my photo. Also going to be using one of the four by six cards from that kit as well that just has a list of four things that say just this on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and adhere my photos down to the three by four cards that I'm gonna be using. And then I will come back and um, kind of pick one of these pleather puffy hearts to put on my four by six card. After I do that, I'm gonna pull um, some label stickers out, I believe, to add a little label to each of my three by four cards, just to add a little bit of information about like kind of what was happening. I put a little bit more information on the card on the left because I did take that picture of myself and my husband while we were at the park for our friend's son's birthday party. And then the photo on the right was taken the same day, just after we got home and we were just in the office. He was playing games, I was doing something. I was probably crafting, honestly. <laughs> Um, and we both had our headphones on, so I, I popped over to his desk and I took a picture of us. So now I'm getting this pleather heart adhered down. I am going to use the sticky backing, but I'm also going to add a little bit of stapling to each side of it, um, just to kind of make it look like the stapling is what's holding it down, but it's obviously really gonna be the sticky backing. <laughs> This is the label stickers that I was talking about. Um, they are from Paper Person Shop. I have no idea when these are from. I did order from her like surprise sticker like bundle last year for Black Friday and this was included in that. It's got 2022 on it, so I'm guessing it's probably from earlier in the earlier in the year last year. Um, so I'm sure it's not available any longer. I'm going to pull two stickers off of this sheet though and put them on either side of my photos and I'm going to hang both of those off of the edge a little bit. I've kind of been just loving doing that with my photos, probably on almost every single photo I've added to my memory album so far. I've been 
putting journaling on the photos in this manner, just kind of hanging off the side of a label and just writing on my actual photo. So on the right hand photo, I'm just going to stamp the date, which was the 19th of February. And then on the, on the left photo, I'm going to write that this photo was taken at our friend's birthday party, kid's birthday party. This pen right here is my new favorite. It's the Energel 0.3 tip, needle tip pen. I ordered it from Amazon and I love it. Um, I have the, oh, I can't remember the name officially, but whenever I try to like highlight over it, it smears, it's a 0.38 tip pen that I got from Target. I, I can't remember the name, I'll have to like put it on screen um, once I get it. But anytime I try to go over it with a marker or a highlighter, it smears and I dislike that a lot. I have not had that issue with this pen. Um, so I will link this below the one that I got from Amazon if you're interested in it because I love super fine point pointed tips. I'm also going to use the story stamp uh, from Allie Edwards for February. Um, and I'm going to stamp currently loving on each rectangle for my four by six card. So I'm just doing my first like test stamp there because I have not used this particular stamp yet. So like I said, I'm gonna stamp currently loving on each little rectangle. And then I'm not gonna be talking about anything related to the photos necessarily when I do journaling on this. I'm just gonna write some things that I'm currently loving about me and my husband's relationship and things that we do together. So on the first one, I'm just writing that I love spending one-on-one -on -one time together. The next one is our gaming nights. Um, whenever we're playing games together, or even if he's just crafting, or I'm crafting and he's just playing games himself. And we're each just doing our own thing. And then the next one I wrote, I'm loving you. You make adventures worth having and life worth living. And then what did I put for the last one? Trying new things, whether it's new foods, new games, or just watching a new show. So I wish I had kind of thought about this before I, before I wrote it, because I would have loved to have what's in the yellow box over in the green one, because then the sides would have been a little bit more even. Uh, but I didn't think about it and just kind of wrote everything on a whim. So now I'm just going to go through some of my embellishments and see if maybe I can find a few ways to fill in the rest of those boxes. So these pink stickers are from the January Stories by the Month kit. I'm going to put Still Growing Together on the yellow box. I have you and I on the first one and I'm going to take that off. Um, I'm not going to leave that on there. I'm going to go through a bunch of chipboard shapes and then pull out my little sticker album that I usually use. And I'm just at first not really going to find anything that I like. And I think a lot of it has to do with that pink sticker, which is why I end up taking it off. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of minutes is just kind of sifting through some things and seeing if I can get anything to fit or anything that would look good or match, go with the vibe of the page itself. This little chipboard piece that I'm about to pull out right now that says, so love gathering with you is what I'm gonna end up ultimately using, but I'm going to sift through a couple of other things before I decide on that. It just kind of felt to me like it was just like in the middle of the air, kind of. <laughs> so I end up pulling out um, some stickers as well from my little 3x8 album that I keep my Studio Calico stickers in. And I'm going to pull out a circle sticker, circle sticker from that album and cut the bottom off um, so that it has a straight edge on the bottom. And then I will layer the chipboard circle and the circle sticker on top of each other so it kind of like grounds that chipboard piece.
So once I get these last two pieces on my page, I am gonna go ahead and just call this page done and get everything kind of put into the page protector um, and do like a final little shot for you to look at. I did take a picture and I'll show that at the end where there's no glare. If you did make it to the end of this video, leave me your favorite color heart emoji in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!